Hello, I'm Susan Levenstein, and I'm talking to you from my home in Rome, Italy. It's a real pleasure for me to be able to talk to the Parent-Child Home Program community in this way, even if it's at a great distance and even if it's through a video camera. I've been spending the last three years working to complete the second edition of my mother's book, Messages from Home, which you all know very well in its first edition. And I very much wanted to be there in person so that I could share with you my excitement and my happiness on the occasion of the books coming out. Unfortunately, it hasn't been feasible for me to fly over. I want to thank Sarah Walser for suggesting this way for me to fulfill my mother's wishes and to present the second edition of, of Messages from Home as her final gift to the Parent-Child Home Program. Let me say a, a word about how this project came about. By the year 2002 or so, my mother had become acutely aware that her book, which had been written in the mid-1980s, needed to change with the times if it was going to keep pace with the explosion of interest in early education in general and of home visiting in particular. She spent the last three years of her life devoting all her energy on writing a new edition an edition that would include all the recent research on the program, that would update the theoretical and sociological background, and would present a, a generously annotated bibliography that would include everything that had ever been written about this program. She thought this would be a tool that would be useful not just for present and future coordinators, but also for academic experts and for policymakers. I worked with her a little on the writing, and I, was more, and I more or less promised to her that I would finish the book if she wasn't able to. This was, in fact, unfortunately what happened, as she, as you all know, died in 2005, shortly after the 40-year conference. She had gotten the rewriting very well along. Unfortunately, it's taken me a lot longer to finish the book than it would have if she had still been alive. I've needed a lot of help from Sarah, from others, in order to manage to finally complete a manuscript that hopefully is not too far off from what she would have written herself, and also to find a terrific and very appropriate publisher, Temple University Press, who's bringing the book out. One of the few people who's actually read the book so far in manuscript was Ed Ziegler, who, as you know, is probably the biggest name in the field. He pronounced it must reading, for scholars, practitioners, and policymakers. When I first read those words, they almost sound, seemed like too much. But in fact, they make sense from the point of view of a person who wants to promote early childhood education, because there really are no other books like this one, it turns out, that describe a single home visiting program in this kind of detail. From a personal point of view, it's been a real privilege for me to be able to take on this project. It's allowed me to have my mother remain somehow at my side in spirit for a long time after she's no longer been there in her body. And I'd say it's even allowed me to deepen the communion that I have with her because of remaining in such constant and profound contact with her ideas. I have to confess to you that I took this project on really as a labor of love for the sake of my mother personally, rather for the, than for the sake of the program that she had founded. They say that no man is a prophet in his own land, and likewise, no parent is a genius to her own child. To me, she was my mother, with all the usual baggage that went with the territory. It was only as I got into the tiny details of the book, as I got into the tiny details of the program, that I realized who my mother had been in this world what a genius she had been, not only in conceiving of this way to put together her particular skills and her particular interests along with her vision of what the world was and what was wrong with it, but also that she managed to go on to work out all the details, to work out the nuts and the bolts of the operation of the program, and even in the end to make sure that it would keep on going after she was no longer around. And at the same time, working on this book, and this is the real reason why I wanted to talk to you all today, I came to realize what a marvelous thing this parent-child home program really is, how far it goes beyond one woman's desire to do some good, and how much potential it actually can have for changing the world at least a little bit. I've come to have great respect and admiration and even envy for all of you. 
I know that the people who are listening to me are active participants in my mother's vision and that they've made it their own vision. Being a program coordinator is not a job like any other. Thank you all for being here, for listening to me, but especially for giving yourselves to the Parent Child Home Program and for making my mother's dream available to so many thousands of children. Thank you.